Sagittarius, Sagittarius, A Sagittarius, Sagittarius, Ooh Sagittarius, Sagittarius, A Sagittarius, Sagittarius. Ah, what's popping, baby? What's up, Saggy baby? What's going on in the life of a Sagittarius between the fifteenth and the thirtieth of September? Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> Y'all, welcome to the Mocha Love Tarot Channel. If this is your first time on my channel, hey, boo, hey. I'm Mocha. Also, if this is your first time on my channel, hey, y'all, I cuss. I make us a little, make us a lot. Just depends on what the hell these cards say, okay? So, to all of my new subscribers, y'all, who I hadn't connected, who subscribed possibly within the last two-week period, y'all, welcome to the family. We're a little dysfunctional, but, you know, in every dysfunctional family, it's a whole lot of love, you understand? We don't fight and we don't fuss. We don't do all that shit. We did that on other people's channel. But here we do love. We enlighten. We cuss, okay? We share we love, we grow, we evolve, okay? So, y'all, thank you for all the likes, the shares, the subscribes, the comments. To my current subscribers, hey, family, hey, I'm back. Did you miss me? <laughs> this is for the sun, moon, rising side. Oh, and Venus uh, for the sign of cross Sagittarius, okay? Um, as well as the cross watchers. Hey, cross watchers, okay? Because every time I do Sagittarius readings, I be noticing cross watchers be in the building, okay? <laughs> Well, all right. Okay, so y'all, well, this is not a personal. As you know, if you need a general, that information can be found within the description. Um, also, y'all better catch it up. But on the 15th of September at midnight, my $10 one question reading special is over. Okay? It's over. And I'm going to take me a badass two day vacation. I'm hiding from everybody. I told my son I read to everybody. Okay? So if you need that reading, <laughs> go ahead and hit me up and go ahead and get in on your $10 reading special. Okay? I am available. So let's rock. So between the 15th of September to the 30th of September, we're starting off with the Crystal Angels Oracle Card Deck by Doreen Virtue for my Saggies. What you guys got was a Malachite. Prosperity. There is a positive shift. In your flow of this of divine support, okay, prosperity, abundance. The coin is going to be coming for you, honey. Okay, this card indicates a positive shift in your flow of divine support. This could refer to meeting your needs financially, emotionally, or in some other way. Previous blocks are lifted because you've released old anger or fears and are now focused, uh, focused upon faith and taking God in action. As long as you continue on this path of positive thinking and follow your divine guidance, you can expect to see a greater number of opportunities arise and experience deeper fulfillment. Okay? All right, so it's Malachi. So, y'all, you got to let it go. Forgive. Let that hurt go. Move on from it. Learn from it and be able to grow and receive these blessings that the universe, God, spirit, your angels, whatever you will, whoever you connect to, what they have for you. Okay? I do see during this month, baby, God wants to speak. Y'all made mother talk. Okay? When I say talk, I have never seen these cards fly the way they were flying. Like that one and that one and that one and that one. Okay? Let's talk. I know y'all tired of hearing about children, especially my males, because I feel like I'm connecting more with my saggy male. If I'm connecting with a saggy female spirit, say this is outside of you, and it's a battle that this person literally has to fight themselves. The lesson, the blessing I'm hearing is within the lesson, okay? Some of y'all are kind of, you're needing to shift your perspective during this time when it comes to some involvement with the child. Okay, Saggy, if you're dealing with another Saggy, this person could have been straight up hiding a child, okay, or possibly denying, okay, but not really getting the facts. I do see strongly of that per percep perception um, shift things, okay. If you were in a place of anger, because I feel like this, this, this literally comes from a place of malice and pride, and it could actually stem from roots from roots that were laid, y'all, when you were children, okay? I feel strongly that there's somebody have, I'm talking to a Sagittarius that have mother issues or a father issue, okay? And I feel like you, I feel like there's a child in your life that you're having a hard time connecting with, even though you love this child to death or this child could be within the person who you're dealing with energy. It's like your own selfish perspective, perception in the past, or this person's selfish percep perception have caused someone to wear these rose-colored glasses and not want to see the truth, okay? 
If the sword was upright, I would say it's righteousness. The truth is upright. Standing, communicating truth, but the sword is down. So there is something that will be discovered that's going to shift your perception in the physical during the 15th and the 30th of September. Because I feel like some Sagis haven't wanted to see something and there is a blessing, spirit say, in the lesson. Okay, I feel like Sagi, for some of you, you hold the keys. Okay, and again, pay attention. This sword is also, well, this sword is up. So I feel like the truth, in your third eye, some of y'all already know the truth. But somebody standing in their own way of actually bringing something to the surface and allowing shit to shake up. Shit to get a little awkward. Awkward. Okay. For something to be birthed. And created. Okay. And I feel like this definitely has to do possibly with Aries. Because Aries showed they face a few times in y'all reading. Some of y'all needed to take a leap of faith during this time. Because I feel like you hold the keys. And intuitively you know. But what are you afraid of Saggy? Are you afraid of being by yourself? Is that going to bring up a, like rooted childhood memories? Because there is a blessing in the lesson, but you got to trust yourself and move. Take that leap of faith and move. I'm naming this video Transmutation to Create Transformation. Because this is what's happening. You are Sagittarius. You were put here to transmute. Transmute negative situations into positive ones. For a lot of y'all, this is a past life the past life hurdle and spirit is needing you to jump off the cliff and just let God do God's job because it's going to make you be renewed feeling newness empowered walking back into your power you could be dealing with another fire sign as well that is highly intuitive and maybe you see that this person is in this energy Sag and I feel like there's something that you hold the keys to Regarding a child, even though your energy is harmonizing, it's wanting to bring the harmony. It's I want to give to the situation. I want to balance. I want to compromise. For some of y'all, it doesn't matter the sign. This is definitely having to do with a twin flame union. And again, I told you it could be fire. This could be because Leo, Sag, and Aries is in the building. Okay? In this reading. For some of you, the issue is harmony. The lesson in this, because I feel like this is a very divine union that I'm talking about, y'all. This could also be a Gemini, okay? There's a divine union. This person is your other half, okay? So because of that, one of y'all could have found the light and is trying to help the, the one that's still walking in their shadow self to find the light too. Let me help you out this darkness through harmony. Because for some of y'all, it's definitely a soulmate. And for some of y'all, it's the Cancer Pisces Scorpio. But you want your soulmate. You, this is what you want, Sag. It is a soulmate union coming together again. After a very karmic time. And I'm feeling so much pride that it can literally cut the, cut the damn cut a cake. Do you understand the tension and pride that I feel? Even though it's so much love. They run it over in that same feeling. I feel sad during this time you want to start over. You are the magician, okay? Whatever it was that maybe you thought you lost, you want to hold on to it, okay? For some of you, you're going to find out during this time that the person that you're starting over with is only, only, is only wanting to create a new start, okay? To hold on to you for finances. And I'm going to be honest with you, that's for y'all who are not learning the lesson and wanting to hold on to your karmic. Who could possibly be a Capricorn towards Virgo. For some of y'all, you have a Capricorn towards Virgo that's a soulmate. That's a life partner. But some of y'all have a karmic, the catalyst that was supposed to show you, oh, hell no. This is the vibration I'm putting out here. Oh, no. <laughs> or some of y'all are trying to start over with the situation or hold on to a situation because somebody else who you possibly love, Sag, is growing financially. And you're noticing that during this time. And you may be going through a lot of burdens, okay? And for some of y'all, you're needing to drop your burdens because you can have whatever it was that you've been trying to manifest a wish. For some of y'all, it's an Aquarius. And some of y'all may be holding on to an Aquarius because you you feel heavily burdened, but it has to do this person helps you financially, okay? 
and you want this person wants a new start with you or you want a new start with this person but i am seeing that in order for it to move move healthy there has to be an equal level of give and take both y'all have to be willing to compromise and both be pouring love into one another because not one person okay i am feeling that some of y'all possibly could have walked away again from a soulmate in the past okay some of y'all are realizing that a scorpio is your soulmate all right some of y'all some of you guys are coming to terms with the fact that you're in love with another fire sign okay but some of y'all this could also be a pisces as well okay but some of you want to reach out you want to reconnect okay you possibly walked away from a water sign or a fire sign in the past due to a third party situation somebody being in and out okay but i do feel that sadly you want to come back in you want to balance things out you want to offer this person something practical okay something to grow on while when you want to build this foundation for some of y'all you want to offer something financial or some of y'all want to move forward in marriage okay with somebody who I already married. Sandy, where they do that at? How? How? Okay. If this person is married and they haven't made a decision, there is love in here. Okay. But some of y'all are not seeing y'all self worth. And I'm not with the shit. Y'all know y'all my baby. So I can, we can go there. Okay. I'm not with the shit. Y'all need to see self worth. But some of you, you want to offer something new to this person. But I feel like you're going to use sex. Okay, this person may use sex to try to reunite with you. Okay, and I feel like with some of you, you're going to find out this person has not been making a decision as far as when it comes to dealing with you. Okay, or not making a decision, especially if this is a fire sign, every Leo Sagittarius, because they could be possibly dealing with a new water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, or Leo. Okay, but I feel like it's more, this, this person could also be dealing with the Pisces. Okay, because I feel like. This person, I feel, has found that Ace of Cups stage. And I feel like some of you know it. And you're just really wanting to go in and express your love and do it in a very courageous way. You know, take that leap of faith and express how you feel. For some of y'all, this person could also be involved with an Aries. Or this could be an Aries, y'all, that y'all want to go express your love to or a Leo. But for those Saggies who feel imbalanced and who are finding them who finding their balance again, okay? I do feel like if you've been just feeling nothing but tower moments coming towards your life, especially when it has to do with finances, baby, something new and abundant is coming to the surface, baby. Something that's going to materialize in the flesh. But it happens after a period of a balance act. Because I feel like some of y'all are kind of being forced into making a decision. And for some of y'all, it's self-love and choosing to live and walk in your authentic truth, okay? Not what your family member said. Not what your mom and them said. Not what, how do you feel? Respect your feelings, Sag, okay? Ooh, some of y'all got a Scorpio in their feelings. <laughs> so deep in their feelings. <laughs> y'all, who's this loving on the Gemini, okay? Came together in the month of August. Come through. Yes. Yeah, some of y'all want to make an offer to a soulmate. Okay. I feel like this could definitely be someone who you walked away from in the past. Again, he go that damn Aries on top of this death card. Right. Some of y'all could actually be walking away. Okay. From an Aries. All right. But I feel like this person is in power. They don't need throne. I feel like you want him to take it slow. My advice to you, if you're offering something to someone from your past who either one of you could have left each other out in the cold, because I'm seeing it actually could have went both ways. Y'all walked away from each other. I feel like, Sag, if you want to work on things, watch your communication, especially if you're trying to work on things. Or some of y'all want to come together with the air sign, jump out of One second, now y'all have to jump off the board. I feel like you're very passionate about this person. They're also very passionate about you, Sag. You want to hold on to this person. However, communication is hell. Okay? And I feel like it could have been that way for the last eight years, eight weeks, eight months. Okay? But I feel like some of y'all got mad love for uh, for uh, cancer, man. Some of y'all looking back at a cancer during this time. All right. Some of y'all, this is for a Leo. OK, but you may have an earth sign that's very controlling, trying to hold on to you. So you really don't know which way to go. You're confused during this time, Saggy. That's not like y'all energy to be confused. Yeah. Some of y'all want to move into somebody else and want to start something new with someone else. But, you know, that either it's a possibility of you being left out in the cold 
okay, and making yourself vulnerable. Y'all are scared of vulnerability. A lot of y'all are afraid of vulnerability. Baby, you have to walk back into your power. Sagittarius are philosophers, and in order to gain that philosophy, not only do you look it up and you research it, but you have to live it as well. In order to be able to enlighten another, you also enlighten it. Expansion, baby. Some of y'all are definitely charging in from someone from your past. Could be a water sign. Okay, but some of y'all are feeling abandoned. You feel like you were going to just go charging back. And I feel like this has to do with Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. And some for some of y'all, this person is literally walking away because they have someone new. Some of you, you want to go and balance the situation out. I feel like for some of y'all, this person is not even going to see you coming they're not even going to see you coming. They feel trapped and here you come with the damn truth, okay? Or here this person comes with the truth as soon as you feel trapped in the situation, okay? But this truth is actually going to cause an expansion as far as love, okay? The truth is going to bring the love back in the situation, especially if you're dealing with a Taurus or a Virgo. I feel like, yeah, this earth sign is wanting to materialize something with you. They want to grow, okay? And I feel like you internally conflict about it because Sagis, you know... You sometimes y'all can fall victim to your loyalty. For some of y'all, you looking at this person as your ace of cups. But some of y'all are looking elsewhere. Like I know that this other person from my past is my ace of cups. I've grown now. Now I know I fucked up. Or this person is looking at you that way, Sag. Ace of cups here twice. So newness. Something old has to die. Even if it's a perception, a perspective, a way of doing things. Yes, yeah, some of y'all got an ace of cups. Happening, like I said, it gotta happen. Truth gotta be ex expressed in order to get to this ace of cups. You're gonna have a tower moment. Shit gotta fall down. Old foundations that were not built on sturdy ground, they have to fall down. For some of y'all, you're gonna be getting to know someone again. Some of y'all ace of cups is gonna come right in the form of an Aquarius, but some of y'all have been trying to manifest this, okay? Yeah, for some of you, it's a Virgo, Taurus, Libra, Pisces. But some of y'all have to choose between someone you have a child with, strong energy of a child, and someone from your past. What you don't know is you could have someone from your past that you have a kid with, and some of y'all could also be pregnant now. The person who you're going after, you don't know that they're pregnant. And that's going to kind of force you to make a decision on going toward the other person, but that had to happen, you know, because I feel like it's like karmic justice, you know? Sag, for some of y'all, you're going to move forward victoriously in love with the cancer. Okay? Why is this food card here still for my Sagittarius? Yeah. Some of y'all have been wishing, hoping, and praying to balance things out. For some of you, it's been for a tourist to possibly, for someone who's married to possibly take a leap of faith with you. And you're going to get your, you're get your wish. You're going to get what you want. Especially if this person is a tourist or a Leo. For some of y'all, like I said, you have a strength through the situation. And you're needing to make a decision, okay, in order to bring newness. And it definitely has to do with the child, okay? For some of you, intuitively, this person, I feel like y'all dealing with somebody who's very, very, very intuitive. Like this person, I feel like you're very intuitive too. Like you know that they know that you're coming. But it's not being spoken on the surface. And sad, both of y'all, both parties, I feel, are in this energy. For some of you, you have a... a uh, damn, I lost my words. The Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, in this energy, or you could be in this energy regarding an air sign, okay? Because you don't know what to do. But some of you, you have to choose between two, or this could be outside of your energy. But someone's definitely gonna move away from the past and how things was in the past, especially if it involves a three-party situation, okay? With the Virgo, for some of you. And possibly a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Strong emphasis on Pisces. Somebody blowing the whistle. It's judgment time, Sagittarius. Some of y'all are definitely re resurrecting the family situation during this time. Something that you thought was dead is going to come to the surface and throw you out. And you're going to be in your head. Oh, no, it didn't work that time. Oh, no, this person got an attitude. You changed. So how come this person can't change? Change is in the air, baby. It's resurrection time. Rebirth time. Restore, regenerating. It's time to rise up and accept the crown, Saggy. It's graduation time, baby. Are you ready to graduate? I say it for people ready to graduate. Okay? <laughs> you gotta heal. 
Heal from what once was in the past. Heal from feeling rejected. Heal from all of this. Heal from feeling like you abandoned or you missed out on something. Because for some of y'all, it was your own stubborn decisions. And for some of you, it was the other person. Some of y'all are moving forward towards a cancer, trying to work something out, work it out during this time. To be honest with you, for some of you, you're going to go into it and realize that this person has put you in a, yet another third party situation. It's going to make you feel like this, but have strength. Because again, I also feel them Ace of Cups twice. Ace of Pentacles, y'all got new, new, new love, new shmoney, moving forward. But sometimes seeing is believing the Spirit let us go back to the past and see exactly what we could have had. And for some of you, it's a beautiful thing because you can still have it if you just choose to take the rose full of glasses off and see the other person's perspective and shift your perception. Okay? Some of y'all going to be like, God damn, I dodged that, but God, ooh. Dodge that bullet, okay? Because some of most of you, most of you, dodged the bullet. Some of you assisted someone in growing and evolving. And it was a karmic lesson. For most of you, it was a past life lesson. And it's hurting the time. What you gonna do? What you gonna do? <laughs> I love y'all so much, Sagis. I'm goofy as hell. My inner child be wanting to come out and play. But I do wish y'all well, because whatever y'all waiting on, especially if it's a fire sign to heal the situation, especially a family situation, here it come. Go on, send that message. Don't be worried about, oh, they going to pop off. You don't know that. Let God do God's job. Trust that God works through us all the time. Respect the God in you, baby. Transmutation to transformation. I love you, babies. This has been my Saggy reading for mid-month, between the 30th of September. Y'all drop them comments. Drop that love. Let me know. I love y'all. Much abundance. Much light. Much wealth. Much prosperity. Growth. Evolution. Healing. Transmutation. New situations. New lituations. All for my babies. Because you deserve every bit. I love y'all. Toodley.